So basically, the way to do thatching is you get your bundle and you put it roughly on the roof where you want it. But you can also see that this one has got a slight angle coming this way. So you want to shove that out the way. Then with your string, you go over the top of your bundle and then you go with your string under your hazel batten and pull it tight-ish. You then get a little loop in that end, poke that under the previous one and if it's tight you get your little doodad and where it's got a little notch on the end, poke that in through, pull that all the way tight and then you can sort of see where it's got that little bobble so you want to slacken that back off fan it out a bit with a little lump that side a little lump that side so that's got it on the roof so obviously i've completely let go of that now but you can see it's not quite in line with the rest of it so where this has been tied into the separate bundles I can undo that and save that for later and then you want to make sure it's nice and straight at the top quite and pull that back down to get it beyond where it was because then you can use your legget you then come to the end, put your hand sort of halfway up use the legget to tap it and then you're going to want to slacken off where it's tied up up here because you can see at the minute it's got a sort of bulbous shape on it so you want it to be nice and flat because otherwise you just have a lump and a lump and a lump going all the way across your roof. So you want to slacken it off, fan it out, and then make a little lump on either side because when you then pull it tight, they'll sort of squish into each other and make it nice and flat. And make sure it's nice and straight at the top. And then pull it tight. Get your doodad again. Wrap the string in there. Tight. tight on there so you can almost hear it creaking and then you get the strings nice and next to each other pin that with your thumb and get a little loop on that end stick that under there-ish get your doodad put it back in Pull it so that the sort of the, this string sits nice and in line with the other one. So it goes up like that, and then pull that bit through there, all the way. Nice done. Ready for next one.
I've tried to sort of tap it out using the legger to get an even run of water so there's no sort of form gullies. But now I've got to like flatten out the reeds and tie them again in a different way to secure them. Okay. It's very empowering to do stuff with your hands and like make something, even if it's in my case not very well. <laughs> So what we've got is almost like a chain stitch, um, and it it gives you the, the sort of capacity to pull rope. Basic, mainly is just pulling straight across here. So with each new bundle or yarn with thatch, this gets tighter and tighter and tighter. Um, that's it. <laughs> that makes a team exercise. Yeah. <laughs> So then from there, you yeah. then want to yeah, yeah. use the doodad, yeah. wrap it around, pull it across, whack it down, and then 